Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to Love for Winter channel. Let me scoot my chair over. This video is for my, the CDA candidates. So if you're looking for any other videos, I'm sorry, you can go ahead and exit out. I'm quite sure and I'm pretty sure that you won't, you will not be interested in this video. So uh, I'm going to save you a thumbs down and go ahead on and exit out because this is for um, any candidate that's trying to receive their CDAs. CDAs are, is a credential that is for teaching in um, teaching from birth to age of five years old in a daycare. And so I'm sorry, this isn't for you. Maybe my next video will be for you, but to my CDA candidates that this is for, that typed in this, clicked on this, this is a Q&A, questions and answers. And I am a CDA specialist, PD, I'm, I am a PD specialist, and I reside in Florida. Now, um, I love, I love my job that I do, the verification jobs. I also work for, with, not for, but work with, as a volunteer, the coalition to sit on the panel um, at the end of the classes, at the end of each class, to talk to the, the new CDA um, candidates that's going to go out to um, apply for their credentials for so I pretty much seen both sides of it um, but there are some questions that a lot of my candidates call and ask me and I'm like I don't mind answering them but I'm like you know this is something that whomever they taking their class up with whether it was in college whether it was a private owner class whether it was a fast track you know should have answered these questions but they call with with and it's particularly the same questions over and over again so if you can just bear with me i'm gonna go over some of the questions and if you have more questions please let me know i will make a up-to-date video i'm gonna try to make up-to-date videos um after i get at least 10 new questions um uh, if it's as soon as i get the 10 new questions other than the questions i have here i will make the up-to-date video so i also have other videos that i will link at the end of this video about how to put your professional portfolio together um uh, uh, cda nightmares um you know practice questions for the exam now with that i've had very few people would um let me know hey the questions i thank you for the questions but they wasn't on the exam but then i have a lot of people say oh email me and say thank you so much for the questions this you know really got um i studied the right information and it helped me pass the exam so to each his own you know i say like i said i stay in florida i don't know where you are you know i don't know if the questions are different or whatever but they're not the exact questions but and then also they got to understand as well everybody don't get the same questions so you know I, I believe they don't understand that everybody do not get the same questions. So if you go and take the test and you bum the, you know, bum the exam and hold on just a minute. My phone is ringing. Thank you very much for your patience. <laughs> we y'all might clip it out, but let's go in into some of the questions that it's normally asked to me. The first one would be, What's a competency standards book? Okay. <laughs> a competency standards book. The reason why I look like that is because, like I say, these are some of the things that your teachers, when you take the classes, would have told you. Or I would get some candidates and say, I didn't know I was supposed to have one. 
and I'll go to the ver I'll call before the verification. Okay, bring your competency standards book with you, your ID, your CPR, and they're like, what's a competency standard book? Then we'll have to reschedule. They have to order it, wait for it to come in. A competency standards book it tells you the different standards that you have to ha you have to have in your portfolio um, during the verification visit. Um, and that we're, we're going to be looking for at the end of the competency standards book is where the scoring tool papers are where you don't tear them out the pd specialist will ask for that book they will personally tear them out and they will give you the book back so that's a book that you have to have in addition to that we also compare if you're um from zero to um, zero for infant to toddler, we look at that. If it's the right color book, if the front of that book say infants to toddler, because I have, um, for an example, had a candidate that um, had the wrong book. I was going to do a verification visit or observation on her for um, preschool for ages three to five when I asked for a competency book on the front of it it had from um, toddler infant to toddler and it was the wrong book so I had to cancel the um I had to cancel the verification visit and she had to order the right book so make sure on the outside that you order the right book and when the right you receive the right book met the, your competency book Make sure that you look on the cover of your page to see if it says the right um, age that your verification visit is going to be on when your PD specialists come in. And that's going to relate to your exam that you're going to take as well. All right, so a competency standards book, that's what that is. That's the standards of what we're going to be looking for as PD specialists when we walk in that door to see you interact with the children, your portfolio, and at the end of it is the scoring tool. Now, hint, hint, um, a lot of you may be nervous. I don't know what they're going to be looking for. When we walk in that door, we're looking at you. We're not looking at the other teacher that has to be in there with you. Um, with the students. We're looking at you. We're looking at how you interact with the teacher, how you interact, um, not with the teacher, with the children. And so just know that our focus is definitely on you. And in the back of that book, what, when I sit on the panel at the coalition and speak to the CDA candidates there, I tell them, if you want to know what we're coming in looking for, you turn to the back of that book and go through the scoring tools that we're going to tear out your book and score you with. And those are the things that we are going to look for. So before we come, you build your lessons around those things. You try to incorporate as much as that you can in your lesson. Now, is that pretending? Is that putting on for the PD specialist? No, because sometimes when the PD specialists come, um, it may be different things going on at that time, and we don't get to see you read a story. And so we have to question you and ask you at the review, or we don't really get to see you do this or that. But you would know, okay, they're come, they're gonna ask, do we read stories every day? Okay, my lesson plans got to show that. I got to show them I'm reading the story. I want to incorporate this in so they can see how well I read the story. Because of how we score you, one, two, or three. One is the lowest. Two is the, is the one. Okay, one is the lowest. I'm sorry. One is the lowest. We have to, as a PD specialist, we have to, if we score you as a one on a subject, on an area, we have to tell them why we score you as that one. If we score you as a two, we don't have to get explanation why you scored you as a two. We don't have to, but we can if we want to. If we score you as a three on um, that area, we have to tell them, no, we do not have to tell them why, because three is very good. The only one we have to tell is when we score you as a one. So I try, I hope and I pray that the three um, 
I can do threes all the way through. And even we know that we're not perfect and not even me. So I'm the first one to tell you that. But even if it's a two, we don't have to get explanation. But what I do, I would tell them, okay, at the review, we did talk about this. And, you know, and, you know, we did talk about this. You understood what you had to do. I give explanation. Say, for instance, um... I scored someone as a two on vocabulary. I had put, she can use, she had used vocabulary, new vocabulary words um, to the, to the children. But we talked about how could she, how she can incorporate more in the different activities that she had done that day and some of the different activities that she had done that day. So I, I what I come in and say, I tell them what you done Yes, you did do it, you know, may not as much as you should have, but then I also talk, tell them as I'm typing in what we talked about and how you can incorporate more. So I don't just say, um, then incorporate more um, words when I use two, um, but I will put what you did positive and then what your professional growth can be in that. I have not yet score anyone as a one of yet and i've been doing this so many years so i pray that i don't have to because these scores they put the scores that we score you with and your exam scores together to determine if you receive your cda all right let's go to the next one Completed 120 hours of professional education covering the eight CDA subject areas. These, the 120 hours are what you're going to take in your schooling. Whether you go to college and take um, this class, your CDA class, whether you go to fast track to take the CDA class, it will incorporate your 120. So it will cover all of the eight CDA subject areas. Now I have had, and they will give you papers um, at these classes where you check off and you sign at the bottom that you did it. And I've had some candidates brought that to me and say, well, here's, you know, in their portfolio. And I have to go back to them and say, where's the certificate? And they say, well, this is all I received. This is all they gave me. So I can, I can complete out the verification visit for that day. I can observe them. But I have to tell um, the council when I put in the scores that they did not have their CDA certificate. You must have, I mean, your 120 hour certificate. You must have your 120 hour certificate in from that company, wherever you obtained it from with a signature in your portfolio. You must, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. So please know that. When you finish that 120 hour class of that eight su CDA subject areas, ask for your certificate and put it directly in your portfolio, a copy of it in your portfolio. All right, the next one would be within um, work 480 hours with children. Okay, whatever area that you're going to, I'm sorry. All right. We left off on working 480 hours with children. Um, you need to have already worked in a daycare center um, at least 480 hours or over because you would need that center to write you a letter saying that you have worked 480 hours. Now, Say, for instance, you worked at one center and you transferred to another center, that is perfectly fine. You get, you ask that center, the first, whatever center it is, um, center A, to give you a letter. Say, for instance, you worked um, 240 hours there and you're at a new center and you ask the new center to give you a letter of how many hours that you worked with them. And those two, let, those two can be put together as long as it adds up to 480 centers. I don't care if you worked at two, 10 different centers. As long as you have proof that you work at centers um, 480 hours. And with the children, the age group that you are looking um, 
to get your CDA in. I hope that's been clear. Um, I hope I've said that clear enough. So please, we're going to ask, where are the 480 hours at? So please have that letter or letters in your book. All right. So to go ahead on and finish this off, um, is your portfolio. You need your portfolio to get all everything that's um, incorporated in your portfolio together to put it in a binder. Um, some people, some CDA, um, um, I'm sorry, PD specialists want them typed. I will prefer for them to be typed. Would if it's not typed, is that um, would we not come out? We still would come out. Um, we still should come out. So it it doesn't you know stop you from not coming out. So but it just looked more professionally typed. And these are the items that you need in your professional portfolio. Um, I keep looking down because I'm looking at my sheet so I won't forget anything. You will need the um, CDA professional portfolio cover sheet. Um, you will also need a complete summary of the CDA education cover sheet and um, you, uh, to get all together your transcripts, your certificates, and that 480 hours. So all of that will go behind um, one section. Your transcript, um, you can put, if you have any other college um, transcripts or certificate or whatever, anything um, like that, transcript certificates, your 480 hours of training and all of that will be behind um, one section that needs to go in your portfolio. Um, a next section will be your family questionnaires. Where would you get the family sheet questionnaire sheet from? Out of your Compacy book, out of your um, Compacy standard book. So inside of that book, it will have a questionnaire sheet that you will tear out, make copies of, and you would distribute, um, distribute them to your parents and have them fill them out, return them back to you, and you would need to put them in your um, portfolio book as well. Um, also, um, after you are, you would need to reflect back on your family questionnaires and write in your strengths, your areas of your strength that they talked about and in the areas of your professional growth that you need to, you know, work on as well in the reflective dialogue worksheet. It is a reflective dialogue worksheet in there as well in your competency book behind the questionnaires that you're going to give to your parents. Okay. Um, you will also write six reflective statements of competency. Okay. Six of them. You will need to gather all of the resource collections that the competency standard books tell you to gather together. Also, when you're taking these classes, they will tell you what you need and you would need those resources because as PD specialists, we go in there and see, have you done the homework? Have you done what you were told to do? And then you will write your professional uh, philosophy statement. Please do that. Usually that's the last page. It should be the last page in your portfolio book. We look at that. We read it. Uh, we look for whatever you say, um, in our observation with you on your verification visit um, to see, do we really see that? Or is this something that, you know, you've written and we don't, we can't see that in you. So, you know, if you're passionate about it and you writing your um, professional philosophy that you're passionate about teaching, we'll see that. And if we come in there and we see you just nonchalant and it's the, here the this or that or whatever, we will see that. And we would know if you told the truth about it or not because, you, you know, and we add all these scores up. You know, we put them together. We talk about it in the review, on the review after the um, CDA um, verification visit. After the visit, we will review over with you what we seen in class. Um, while we were observing you. Now, I'm going to make a separate video about that, what we go over 
after your verification visit because we call you off and we talk to you for about 30, 45 minutes, you know, sometimes not even that long. But I will make a separate video on that. So you won't be nervous. Oh, God, what are they going to come in this room? What are they going to tell me? What is this about? Am I graded for this or whatever? So I, we will let you know. All right. Another thing after and all of that you need for your professional portfolio. For everything that I told you need to go into your port, professional portfolio that I just went over. Um, the last thing for you to do is select a um, PD specialist. And PD specialists stand for professional development specialists. So you'll select that. You'll go online and um, make a selection of um, whoever you want to come and do your PD specialist. And you will, once you select them, the system, the council will send them an email and say, hey, this candidate is asking for you to be their PD specialist. Now, know this. This um, PD specialist can say, okay, accept you, or they can decline you. It's their choice. And um, if they decline you, it's your choice. You can pick another one. You can pick more than one PD specialist. And, and, and you know, you can, you know, put out emails to more than one and whichever you want to pick, you can too as well. So, um, say for instance, you choose, you have chosen me, and I accept you. And after I accept you, um, then the council will let you know. You also need to pay. You have to pay the council, not me. You have to pay the council. Here, I think it's four hundred twenty-five, four hundred and fifty dollars, or something like that. You pay the council. Um, you'll go on their line website and pay them. Once you pay them, it takes 24 to 48 hours or sometimes, you know, even a little longer. And they'll send me an email and say, okay, it's okay for you to go ahead and call the candidate and schedule an appointment. That's the only time I can schedule an appointment with you. Once I get the confirmation back from them saying, okay, you can, because they're not going to give me the confirmation if you do not pay. And a lot of CDA candidates do not understand that those people want their money. <laughs> so once you pay, it'll take a few days and then they'll let me know. And once they said, okay, it's okay. It's okay for you to schedule an appointment with them. I will call or email. The PD special will call or email you and tell you, okay, all right, let's set up a date and time for this verification visit. And after that, you know, comes your verification visit. So I hope this answers some of your questions. I probably was all over because sometimes that's why my mind is all over. So much I want to tell you. And it's like, I'm holding back. You know, I can't tell them that right now. I'll hold it to later because it may confuse them. And I try to search for the right words. So I hope you really, really understand this. I am going to upload this video um, as soon as possible. So at, I also want you to know, please know this. I have a TPT. A TPT is a Teacher Pay Teachers um, store. And I will leave the link in the description box below. If you click on that link, you'll go directly in my store. Um, it's um, TPT, if you haven't heard of it, is teachers that came up with something great to help other teachers to be successful in their classroom. And you're potential, you are teachers and you're just trying to get your certificate. So you're a teacher, I'm a teacher. So um, you can go into there, you can click on, um, on the link and the link will take you directly to my, um, my area, my, my little store area. And in there, there's a free worksheet. There's a free worksheet that tells you everything that you need to do. Everything that I told you on this video, it's going to be on a worksheet. All you have to do is click download. It'll download straight to your computer and you can print it out for free. As well, in a couple of days, I will have the different section already printed out that goes in your portfolio and information that needs to go behind those different sections where you will be able to print out 
from my teachers pay teachers um, store so you can print that out but that will not be free it will be a price on that so once you pay for that you download it you print it out and there you go so but the first worksheet will be free and that will be the worksheet of what I talked discussed and you can check off the different thing areas that you've accomplished as you go so that's what's going to be free today on this work on this um in the tpt store so please go ahead and take advantage of that free worksheet i want to help as much as i can and whom i can if you have any questions be be uh, for me that i did not answer or you did not understand i didn't clarify it good enough please leave it in the link below i have other videos with like i said about the cda um i will leave all around this at the end of this video which you can click on if you're not a subscriber of mine go ahead on and subscribe so you can um because i will know well subscribe and click the bell that's what it, the bell will notify you when I upload another video. Now I do other videos and maybe those other videos is not what you're looking for because I do other decorating all that video is not looking for. But also I will do videos for CDA. So whenever a video for CDA come up, you see it, then okay, this is what you need. You can click on it. You'll be notified. They'll notify you that I did do a video. So I would love to have you part of my um, YouTube family. We are family here. And I hope this information um, really, really um, helped you out a lot. I thank you all for your time. Again, I am a PD specialist. I'm also a teacher. I've been a teacher for 19 years and I do the PD specialist on the side uh, verification visits for the council on the side. And one more thing that I forgot to mention is I have a question. Do we pay you? No, you do not pay the PD specialist. You pay the council. Once you pay that 400 or whatever it is in your state, they will pay us after we do the verification and send you send your scores in they will pay us so that's how that works um also as well i don't know if i mentioned the scores that we we uh, put in the system and your scores from your exam they put it together and that's how they determine if you get your cda um i believe that is it so thank you and once again, like I always say on my channel, put all your trust in the Lord. We don't know when, we don't know where, and we do not know how. But one thing we know for sure, that God will always make a way. I'm so happy for you all. Now go get your certificate. Bye!